Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we are here back with the Desert Spiral and uh, well in the last part we, in sort of phase one we set up the city and basically got our money going and in this part what we're planning to do is just earn an infinite amount of money, uh, handle all of the invasions and basically finish off developing this Desert Spiral. So let's get things started. Alright, here we are back into the Desert Spiral here and uh, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good, actually. <laughs> Look at that. And money is going to be streaming on in. So let's slow the game down and get some industries going. So first, uh, what I want to do is I want this road back here to have some industries. So I'm going to... How do I want to do this? I could... Yeah, I'm just going to have this road loop something like... Well, maybe like that. We'll just have a bit of a loop. And we're going to break the road connection there. And this road connection can just extend out this way. And we can have a gatehouse right here. Because actually, since that's going to be like that, we can do this. And then we can just do that. And that loop should actually be big enough. Because what I want to do is I want to have a warehouse set right here. And a warehouse set right here for pottery. See, we're going to accept pottery into here because we want to get these houses evolved a bit further. This one over here is going to be set to accepting... Oh, we... Ah, I forgot to check. Where does the clay import come from? It's a water trade route. Ah, that can be a little tricky. So maybe I'll hold off on this for now. Hold on. We could import pottery. Uh, but to do that effectively, we will gonna need uh, lots of money. So we'll see if we can do that. Uh, what I can do is I can extend my furniture industry just a little bit. To do this, we can have another couple furniture workshops just to make sure we have all the furniture we need. And on this side, I'm going to extend out this road. And we're going to have a prefecture and engineer's post on this side. And we're going to extend out this road to do that. And we're going to have move these two houses there, which should be good. And we're going to move some of these industries around now that we have the money. So I want to move these two away, move that away, move uh, that away. And this road out here will extend out here, accessing the other side of this mountain, which is going to be very good. Just clear off some of these trees. And have this road come round like that. And come round like this. One, two, like that. So then we can have another prefecture and engineer's post right here. So I want to have a total of five iron mines. So we can go, we have one, two, three, four, five. Total of five iron mines. And then we want some marble quarries. One, two, three, four, five. Five marble quarries should be enough. And then workshops for weapons we'll need 10. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Workshop weapons. 8, 9, 10. Okay. So if we so wanted to import clay and bring it over, we're gonna need a ship bridge like this. Which we could probably get to in a bit, but for now... Ah, yes, I just remembered. We do need to stockpile some iron because there is a request for 10 iron so let's start stockpiling that and also is this road long enough to reach those two houses probably we'll see if it is okay okay so that's pretty good that's pretty good ah meanwhile our military is looking pretty uh developed let's extend things we're killing a couple zebras yeah ah oh, poor zebras yeah 12 months to comply we gotta get that going. Um, we probably should just up the amount of iron we're making. 
by like a lot. Do I fit one more there? If I have two extra iron mines, we'll eventually start stockpiling iron. But I will need another spot for a warehouse. Which I could sort of clear off on this side. And just have a warehouse stuck right at the end. Set to holding all the iron. Like that. And then we can set this to not accepting iron. So we'll have a dedicated warehouse for iron. That should be good. Hopefully that doesn't burn down or anything, but it should be fine. <laughs> now we gotta wait for these two houses to move in, which I think should be okay. But just in case I'm gonna put a couple of houses there for now, we can knock off... We don't need so many of these houses here. I'll just give it a three of those first. Okay. So food supply seems to be good. There's a festival to Mars. Mm. Money is streaming in, allowing me to have another legionnaire fort, which I will place right here. There we go. We'll have another legionnaire fort, and I'll just preemptively have... like a prefecture and engineer's post for this loop. Just before we forget to do that. Okay, so now these houses here need basic educational facilities. So I think I'll delete that house and put a school right there because I think we need the school kids to run down that way. And I am gonna need to get rid of this house here. And as our food supply slowly grows, I really should move this shipyard, but as our food supply grows, then we can continue feeding people because I think if I just put another market right here, we could start feeding down this road and sort of support on the outside. That should be good, that should be good. I kind of want to move this Mars temple to there. So this can be houses because as a, a walker comes down this way, if it could just sort of kind of reach like houses there, that should stabilize some of the employment, I think. And also, let's uh, get these gardens with trees going, not that one. Oh, we are gonna be invaded. So these trees are going to go all the way around. Uh, there. Nope, not there. There. Perfect, there we go. Ah, the desert spiral, the desert spiral, I love it. Hmm. Uh, did I already get a blessing? I think it was used up, so we're just going to see if we can get another Mars blessing. Now, how's our employment? After all of that, city is short by 94 employees. We're gonna start evolving these houses, you can see down here. They're all gonna grow on up. These require... Ah, we do need another school. Like right here, I think. Another school there, that should start... Yeah, there's plenty of room for more people to move in. Now, is everything on this side stabilized? Too few employees. Uh, we are short by quite a bit. Maybe I overdid it on the... Food production is only six? Is, uh... These are all considered industry, is it? I see. Okay, I see. We gotta get this iron stockpiled first, though. Now these need basic educational facilities. Education is sort of taking a bit of a hit. You know what, I think I should deprioritize that and just cut back on some of this food production. Yeah, shot by 60. Cut back on a couple of those. Shot by 31, that should keep things going.
All right, there we go. The iron's not going into the workshops because we are currently stockpiling it. Okay, now too little entertainment, yes. So that means we're gonna need to put like a theater here, I think. Or an amphitheater rather. Over on this side. So if I put an amphitheater right there, it should send the gladiators going round to the right as well. It should, it should. I've forgotten the cardinal thing about blessings in Caesar 3. We gotta piss off Mars first. Yeah, I probably... You know what? It's not a... It's not a... a military mission. We should be fine. We should be fine. Six months to comply. How much do we have? We've got enough. We can stop stockpiling. Go back to using and trading. I've never seen so many job vacancies not filled. Really? It's just 14 employees, geez. Calm down. All right, so now we're gonna need to boost some desirability here. I think if I just drop a large statue or maybe a couple medium statues, that should actually just solve that problem. Do we have marble stocked up? We are selling quite a bit of marble actually. Oh, it's fine. I'd like to have an oracle near these, uh... Oh, there's a soldier there. Yeah, we need some oracles near these gatehouses to mitigate the desirability. We have two pieces of marble, we do. So I'm just <clears throat> gonna drop an oracle right there, preemptively. So there we go, we've evolved all of these houses, and now they need access to local bathhouse. Unemployment of 1%, fantastic. So, I, I estimated correctly, it's just, uh... We did it a bit too soon. <laughs> anyway, look at that. We've got another uh, academy-trained legion coming in. Plenty of furniture coming in. So we should have all the furniture we need. And then if, if uh, money just looks good, uh, how do we want to do this? Because I'd love to just put a ship bridge right there. It costs 1,200. Okay, we need a bit of money first. A bit of money to do that. Food seems to be holding up. We've sent off that iron. The markets are keeping up with food supplies, which is very good. So I suppose we could preemptively get the bathhouse access down first. So we're gonna need one there, which we'll cover there. And then we're gonna probably need one... <laughs> I would assume one here should do it. It is covered. And then we'll probably need one here. Yeah. Three bathhouses to cover the spiral. That should work. More money has come in, so I think we could just try importing pottery, right? Yes, we got a blessing from Mars, yes. That's gonna help a lot with the next invasion. So we're gonna start importing pottery, which um, we haven't like accidentally left pottery accepting anyway, right? Okay, it should all be fine. Very good. An oracle's meant to go here. Oh, money has streamed in. And also, there's a few gaps here and there, which I might want to put, like, a house. But I might need it for desirability. It's hard to, hard to say. But there we go. Uh, some pottery has come in. We can just uh, start putting down some statues here. Yeah? Especially at the corners, I think it would be particularly tricky. But we're going for this alternating statue garden thing. There we go. Pottery's finally being distributed. Uh, some entertainment. We're going to need a theater in the middle here, I think. And a theater right here. 
And we're gonna need an actor colony right here. I think. Let's just have a look at entertainment, theater. We gotta watch the walkers. Oh right, theaters do send out walkers without the theater guy getting there in the first place. But I need to make sure that this it sends the walkers in the right direction. So it should send one this way and one the other way? I think? Maybe not. I think I might have to have the theater here. That should solve that issue, right? Distant battle, okay. So this should send a theater walker that way and a theater walker down this way through the spiral, correct? Come on, send, send one this way. Yes, yes. Well, we've reached 2,000 people. <laughs> They're gonna take the shortcut through the gatehouse? They might, they might, but... Ooh. I think we just bought a bit too much pottery. Well... No theater practitioners have reached here yet, so I'm not too sure. But I mean, this sends out a walker, so it should cover... So it should cover down this road anyway. But there we go, we're going up to medium insulates. Then they need a library. Which we can... Put a library right there. We'll see how much that covers. I'll cover most of the, the inner circle here. Another request for iron. 24 months, we've got four stocked up. So I'm not gonna rush too much on that. I think I can hold back on importing pottery. Importing pottery is expensive, I know that's not ideal, but... All the markets should be stocked up with furniture and pottery as well. Some desirability problems, okay. We gotta start... Is this gonna bring in enough iron? There we go, I think that's... Oh, we're shot by one, I think. Yeah, we just need one more, well, two more bits of iron, because it delivers out itself as well. Meanwhile, food seems to be struggling a little bit. Let's just uh, get these caravans buying some weapons. We have some money, I think. No local access to a barber. Let's drop down a barber right there as well. Filling up the middle there. All right, bought a good amount of weapons there. Get us out of debt so we can reset the debt anniversary, please. And I think I'm gonna need to boost up our wharf, uh, wharf number here. There we go. So we're out of debt. And now I think I'll save up for that uh, ship bridge. Which we do need a thousand two hundred, looking at that. I think that's the, the shortest it can be. Unless it's over on this side, which is not gonna work. <laughs> you can actually build one right there. Wait. Increase in wages and we're under attack. Okay, let's deal with this invasion, shall we? Coming from that side. So we do have a blessing from Mars. So I'm just gonna bring up these soldiers. And this actually needs to get killed a bit because these guys are not academy trained, so I need them to die. So I'm gonna rush the javelineers right into the enemy. <laughs> it's not the, the most tactical idea, but I think we now have enough there. Dispatch that. Uh, this seems like a good amount to have. Uh, could we sell more? We can sell more weapons if I open that up. I probably should, right? 
It's how much? 500? Yeah. Just pay to open that route. That is a C route. Okay. So we are going to continue selling extra weapons. Just to make sure we can properly sell as much as possible. That should bring in a trade ship any second now, hopefully. Okay. Pottery supplies still seem to be holding up. Fantastic. Let's get our javelineers killed here. <laughs> they actually do have little short swords there. Wait, the spirit guardian conjured by Mars to protect you awakens... Oh yeah, okay. That finishes them off. Did we lose? We lost two. Uh, I guess we don't really need blessings from Mars on this mission. Did that guy throw a spear that's just going forever? He threw it all over there. <laughs> Alright. Well, there you have it. So we should be selling... There we go. Yes. Alright, so this is... Boats off to the fishing grounds. We, we are slightly in debt right now. I could move the shipyard over to this side and replace that with another wharf to boost our food production. So ships can come over from this side instead. That's a bit more efficient. If I wanted to increase food even more, I could have another road of fisheries there, but I think it's going to be okay. Need a supply of furniture. Oh, these further away markets are struggling a little bit, I think. That's fine. It's fine. How is employment? 12%, huh? Let's tax people a bit more. 7%. Rome went up by 2, so let's go up by 2 there. And here we're going to sell a bunch of weapons, which should afford us this ship bridge. There we go. We're just going to put that down right away. Was that more expensive than I anticipated? Oh well. And then we're just gonna put a gatehouse right here. Right there. To connect that up, yes. So now we can break this. Move this temple to series over to somewhere else. That's fine. And we're gonna break that, have a road come up this way. Like this. And we can have our pottery industry. That is not... I'm just thinking about this in the future. What What's the spacing for wharves here? That's exact. So I think I have to gatehouse off this bridge. Look how much money we have, by the way. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something a little new, right? Prefecture, engineer's post, they'll come down this way, okay. Uh, we can now just temporarily import more of that, and we're gonna have to open up the trade route to here. Pay to open that trade route, we're gonna start importing clay, and we're gonna need a warehouse right here for clay. There we go. Ah, an engineer going to cross the country through the water? Really? I didn't see it, damn. That prefecture is spawning on the wrong side, so let's not do that. <laughs> and we're gonna need workshop pottery. And we're just gonna need a bunch of pottery workshops here. Five usually does it. Alright, there we go. So this is coming down this way. Why is... That engineer's post should be able to access those workers okay. 
Enemies closing. And now we've imported a bunch of pottery again. Let's uh, turn that off. Because we should be producing pottery once a trade boat comes on down. And also we can boost our food production by just doing this. Is that gonna spawn the brown walker on the bridge side? I, I think it's okay. And this also speeds up the caravan trade. You see, they're now walking around and all of that. We can now put down extra workshops for weapons to get us even more money. And we can have an extra backup iron mine, so we keep stockpiling iron. There we go, more weapons coming in. Uh, could we improve the marble industry at all? Probably if we rearrange a few things, but I'm not gonna bother too much. Let's just set it so that we export marble when it's over four. So we have a surplus for any sort of uh, things we need there. Okay. This market is struggling to keep up with all the resources. Do we need another market down here? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Ah, but... Uh, this is looking pretty good. And with all this money, you know what I want to do? I'm gonna plaza it up. Boom. There we go. Plaza, the whole spiral. That should help a few houses evolve. You can see some markets being all fancied up there. Bathhouse fancying up as well. All right, so these need oil, right? Can, do people sell oil? They sell olives. Land trade route to sell olives. Okay. Can I do something about that? What's our employment like? 4% unemployment. If I clear this one. And I do this. It's a land trade route, so we can have it anywhere. Olives there. Oil here. Set an import for olives and a stockpiling of oil. And have oil workshops right here. Workshop oil. Four. Yeah, that should be fine. We definitely need another market coming down this way, I think. I mean, I think it's because this market is always walking to the right because of pathing things. So I think if I just... clear off one of these houses instead... Like, if I move this market just a little bit closer, it actually won't be so bad. Like, if I put a market there instead, yeah? And we can continue to finish up our small statues. Ah. Sorry if I'm not looking at chat too much, but I'm just sort of in the zone of getting things done. There we go. Fill up these. And there we go, the decorations for the spiral are done. I should plaza that road as well. Ah, there we go. Ah, Zach Gods, you guys are using the emotes. Ah, happy, happy charmed. Gods are fine, gods are fine. Plaza hype, yeah, we gotta plaza it up. Now, extra market here should help things along. There should be plenty of fish coming in. I think that is true. Yes, we are now producing our own pottery. Would you look at that? We're gonna be producing our own oil as well. Uh, I probably could have like more, another oil workshop right here, but how's our employment? Short by 25, yeah, because we deleted a house there. And we have some like weird situations where, why is this not evolving? doesn't have a supply of food. 
And there's a couple houses back there which can't evolve either. If I were to fix that by, let's say, replacing that with a fountain, that should evolve those houses, right? Hasn't received any food supply. Because this it's deceptive. This market here is almost always walking to the right. Ran out of pottery. And I think this market is almost always going up that way. So that's now okay. If I just moved this temple to Mars... ...and moved that market to here... I'd actually like to get rid of that market and that market. I mean, there's no real harm in leaving them, but... We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But it looks like we've stabilized the housing a little bit. They need access to Barber. Let's have a look at health here. Health, Barber. So you see here, this is actually working as a loop. So you see, it walks out the spiral and then through the gatehouses. So this is actually a loop. But we're gonna need, like, another Barber... We'll probably need a barber, like, out here, then out here, on both ends of this. So let's replace a small statue here, and a small statue here, with barbers. And that should deal with the barber issue there. Oil is coming in, so we have one, two, three, four... Five, six markets, right? One, two, three, four, five, six markets. They're each gonna take 400 units of oil each. So, to be safe, I shouldn't stop stockpiling oil. City needs more workers, yeah? Shot by 16, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I can put down a couple extra oil workshops over on this side. But yeah, that looks good. Uh, furniture. Yeah, it's just the far side of this spiral which we're struggling a little bit with resources. Like, if I actually had this road do this. And we could plaza that up. That would help with some desirability. And also, we can now have access to out here. If I were to gatehouse here, and have that hooked up there, and have this hooked up there, we can actually have, like, Alright, we'll send that off. We could actually have like an extra market here, and an extra market here. If I just gatehouse that, and we could have like a 2x2 two two plaza there to look good. We could have an extra market here, and we just need to like... Prefecture Engineers post it. Ah, easy enough. It should actually be like that and that. And that will help feed these houses on the underside from the outside. Would you look at that? And the garden pattern can continue. <laughs> Oh, I love this pattern. I love this pattern. I'm not gonna do it again. Don't worry, but on this mission I'm going all out on this garden spiral pattern There we go
Done. Found clay imports to not be very good on this map. Um, it's doing okay. As long as it maintains, it's going to be okay. If I needed to buy more pottery, it should be fine. Anyway, oil is starting to stockpile. We're struggling to have just furniture come down there. Anything burning? That should be put out soon. What is that? It's a small insulate. There we go. Damage looks okay? Yeah. Okay, so these two houses are there, which means we actually don't need these two houses there. So you have two houses here, two houses here. This is at the intersection, so it should be stable. Yes, okay, good. Money seems to be infinite at this point. Our spiral has blossomed, I would say. It looks really good. It looks really good, right? SNCCHV says looks good. Thank you. Uh, there we go. That's... So we've got extra food here. We've got furniture and pottery up here. I don't know which way the market ladies are walking, but it's gonna have to do. And also, this market lady walking this way will pass these houses, providing extra access on this side. So see here, she's gotten pottery. Oh, we can't really tell. But okay. So that's looking pretty good. We're gonna wait for the oil supply and, well, the housing in general to stabilize. Then we'll wait for the oil supply to really build up. Furniture seems to be maintaining a nice number. Pottery seems to be maintaining a nice number. Weapons have overflowed. Our boats are a little clogged up here. But it's not the worst thing in the world because money is infinite. <laughs> All right. So, looking at this, culture, favor, favor is really high, 80 favor. Does not have access to a clinic or hospital? Health. Clinic. How did it evolve in the first place then? Oh, that doctor there. Okay, so if that's the case, we can actually have, watch this, we can have a doctor there? No, here. We can have a doctor right here. And that will actually provide doctor access to all of these houses. As long as they're two by two. <laughs> Should be fine. Just to make sure we maintain that as two by two as they evolve, we're gonna do that. So there we go, you can see this doctor is now walking on the outside to provide some extra access. I suppose, are these not evolving because no health provisions? Yes. So we can have a doctor on this loop as well. There we go, we have 14 units of oil, which will be pretty much immediately ravaged. No health provisions. Did the doctor not reach down there? Oh, he doesn't actually quite reach down there. Okay. So I'll just do that. Get these all to medium insulates, and then they need libraries, right? Let's check at the... Actually, what is our employment right now? Short by 29? We do kind of need, like, a couple extra houses here and there. doesn't have access to a local bathhouse. That bathhouse takes a really short walk, huh? Hmm. Well, that will be fixed when we evolve these a little bit further. Well, now we have 16 oil, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to now unstockpile the oil and watch the market ladies go ravenous for these oil. Mm. There we go. See all the market ladies rushing for the oil? Let's see how much it's distributed. Ah, uh, large insulates. I love the look of large insulates, by the way. It looks really good. Lovely evolutions here. That evolved a bit weirdly, but okay. 
some entertaining to be found, but not enough. If it had more space to expand into. If it had more space to expand into, so... Ooh! Another invasion! But watch me fix this housing issue. So I'm gonna slow this down. If I delete this, this, and that. This should become two two-by-twos, and where are they invading from? That side again? Okay. Let's send these guys out. And maybe I can get these javelineers killed, yeah. And also on the back of this, I should put one more fort javelins just to make sure things are a bit reinforced as we go along. There we go, and see, that become two two by twos. That's a bit wrong. It says 20 occupants. There should be room for 64. There we go. It's just about registering. There we go. Alright, let's deal with these guys. And we'll try to get our javelineers killed. Just rush right into them, shall we? And we'll have... These stood on the back. Oh, come on. Well, that, sh that should actually get the jav... <laughs> we just killed four zebras. Ah. The zebras are uh, sort of splitting up my forces here. The javelineers are academy trained now? So they are. <laughs> so they are, I didn't realize. I guess because a couple died, they became academy trained? Oh well. Who's gonna win this fight here? Prima Legion javelineer or that dude? That dude won, but then ran away. Oh, we killed one guy and they're like, nope, nope. Nope, are you coming coming through? Oh, three left, two left. And they're dead, okay. Problem solved. Military on this map really isn't all that much. Uh, look at that, uh, we have uh, filled this up with weapons, so that's good. Uh, needs library access down here. How do we get library access? I guess the best way to do it would be to have it on the outside. If I move the prefecture to here and convert this into a library, That should evolve that, and these guys also don't have library access. If I move this over to here, I could change this from here to there, have the timber yard over on this side, and put a library here. Sort of not the best place to have a library. I don't know how far the librarian will walk. He walks quite far. Librarian walks quite far. I'll just see how far this guy goes. I don't think he can cover this side. That's... No, no, he can't at all. We're gonna need to have a library right here. City needs more workers. Yeah, we're a little short. We're a little short. Um... That should get everything. We do need a library here as well. So we ended up not using this little loop for <laughs> for pottery industry because we just sort of put it up this side because we needed the bridge. Oh well, it worked out in the end. Uh, we need these to become two two by two. So I'm gonna demolish that house there. To allow these to evolve. So then we can get rid of that and squeeze in another house there. And then besides that, I think we just go around squeezing in houses, right? But we actually don't need that because that will auto evolve to two by twos. And I think we can, yeah, any of these little gaps will just squeeze in more houses. Like there. Like, we could fit two houses there, but that's kind of weird, but... Oh, is there no small statue? There we go. We'll just... 
do that. We could have one house right here. We could have a couple houses right there. Can I get away with a couple houses there? We'll just see what happens. And that should quite nicely... I don't know if that's in range. It's not in range of any water. Maybe not that. Okay, so we'll let those people move in. And I think I can also have like a row of houses there because this area is actually covered as well. And that should flesh out the rest of the spiral. Check my pottery workshops. Oh yeah, the clay came in, the clay came in. It's just not efficient because we're, we've only got one dock. Look at that, we've filled up with iron, filled up with weapons. Um, I guess I should actually change this to like another marble quarry, right? Cut a bit back on the iron, boost up the marble. Okay. So now the spiral has completed. And I guess we just fill up these little gaps with some... Yeah, there we go. Any other gaps? Ah, there. Let's just make sure it is 100% complete. Why did this devolve? Lost all access to local religious facilities. What? No, no, it devolved because of some other reason, right? Something's caused these to devolve. And immediately re-evolve? Because if you look at religion, the houses on the side of it have religious access. But I suppose to secure it, I should have a temple on the outside. There we go. Something did something a bit weird there. Uh, we do need a fountain here. Any of these other houses I put down need a fountain? I think it's okay. Oh, over there. We'll need a fountain there. And there. Yeah, that's a little... Okay, I'll do it. Increase in wages, more iron. Yep, there we go. Help yourself. Okay. Fountains down. How's employment? No employment problems. Looking good. Spiral is now developed. Ah. So to get it to Grand Insulet, we're going to need two types of food, which I think I'm... I can't really do two types of food. Run out of furniture, really. I mean, the markets on the outside actually have enough stuff. It's just... Is this market not reaching? Yeah, that market doesn't really reach, does it? I mean, we have a market here. We have a market here. This market comes down this way. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have one more market on the outside here. Just as an absolute backup. And the spiral is good. These houses can't evolve. And it's improved by a school. What? Education. How is there no school access? Every single kid walks... Xcavox just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Welcome, Xcavox. This school is garbage. Yeah. 
You know what? I'm gonna need... Like... More culture anyways. I'm gonna put a school just on the outside. <laughs> this design is definitely not appropriate, is it? It's not appropriate. There we go. Large insulators all around. And the spiral is now pretty much complete. With 5% unemployment. Would you look at that? And we have, like, infinite money, so I'm just gonna fill up on my military. Uh, legionnaires. You know what, I should get in the habit of... Well, let's get mounted. Just in case they attack from some faraway location. So we got three auxiliaries, three uh, legionnaires, but one of the auxiliaries is horsemen. There we go, yes. Some extra food coming in there. This is actually a very efficient design. I mean, it's a little hodgepodge here and there. Why are these falling design? No, that's... What? What is... Some entertainment? No. When they're devolving, they always give the wrong message. This far side of the spiral... Wages have gone up to 40? Jeez. Okay, and I was also told that I can... Increase wages to 8 above uh, what they're being paid, which allows me to increase taxes to 25%. And I also should make a point of taxing everyone, right? Okay. I can just go ahead and put a tax collector right here. And we can go ahead and put a tax collector... This spiral is actually very difficult to work with. Ah, if I just move the theater back... I mean, I'll kind of start taxing these people. Right? That'll keep people happy anyway. Money is not really an issue, is it? Okay, so the spiral is now complete. And now I can focus on getting what I always want to try and do, luxury palaces. Can we get luxury palaces on this mission? I think we can't because there's only one type of wine, right? I'd love to be able to get luxury palaces, but I don't think I can. And also, I kind of need to boost my population by another 3,000. Uh, so that's not going to be the easiest thing. I sp Actually, no, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, how do I want to do it? I just kind of need, like, mini spirals, I guess. Maybe not for the... Maybe not for the... Uh, there's a lot of flat coast here. It's not a flat coast here. You know what? I think I'll just have like a mini spiral right here. Yeah. This provides access to all of this. Ooh, let's not break the road connection there. We're gonna need... Like that. Okay, we're gonna have prefecture, no actually that's terrible, that's wasting some coast space. Break that. That's not the worst thing. So we'll have this road come out here. And we're gonna have another spiral. 
Now let's, uh, I haven't really planned a, a spiral here, but let's, let's give it a shot, yeah. Let's do this. One, two, three. Let's do this. Now I'm not gonna be too particular with this spiral. Yeah, a smaller spiral should be okay. So we're gonna do that. One, two, three. Round to here, one, two, three, round to here, up to there, one, two, three. Why is there a market lady here? Let's, let's move this gatehouse. That should solve that. <laughs> okay, so now let's go ahead and grab... We just need, like, houses there first to provide housing access there. Okay, everything else is looking good. Um... Then we're just going to need to do, like, Prefecture and Engineer's Post, as usual. How do I do it over in this side? Oh, there, okay. Just make sure nothing burns down, we'll get that going. And this spiral should get our population up high enough, and then I could have, like, Luxury Palace... Oh, look at the map, the map's looking quite nice. Uh, luxury Palaces don't actually need to be near anything. Uh, we're just going to set it to getting food, but... Having access to fish will make it easier. So I think luxury palaces will go over here. So for a luxury palace thing, I'm, well, probably not luxury palace, but the highest we can go. How do I want to design it? We'll need a road here for the fish for the fancy houses. Then we can do this and we'll just have it come around like this. One, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. No, I'm counting that. That's gonna end up as a nine by nine. We cannot do a nine by nine. One, two, three. We'll just uh, do something like this. I almost did a nine by nine, guys. I don't want too many luxury palaces. We just kind of need like there, there, there. We'll use that to get started. Prefecture. Engineer's post. Okay, those houses have moved in, fantastic, which means we can just boost, what's our employment like? Unemployment of 7%, just to make sure it is functioning as intended. Can I actually get a wharf working here? I can. I just need to shift to that road over. Not that road. I need to shift to this road over. No. I can't get it working there. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> we'll just boost our food production a little bit for fish there so we can get that going. Then we're going to need a reservoir. Uh, which can go... Yeah, just over here somewhere. Fountain. I don't suppose this... Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. I can do the garden thing. It inadvertently was correct. Uh... <laughs> uh, one, two... Okay. Let, let's get these houses going first. We have 20,000. Money really is infinite now. Look at that. We can actually do our thing. I know you like it. Don't lie. <laughs> oh. People are unhappy. People are indifferent. Maybe it's just taxing people too much. Yeah, let's just drop it to 20%. 
People are indifferent. That should that should that should fix it. That should fix it. Okay, these houses are now gonna move in. This is gonna be our luxury housing. And I suppose just to make sure they are absolutely safe, I'm gonna just go ahead and like wall this off. Right? One when money's infinite, you don't have to care too much. Just to... There. there we go. So this is gonna be luxury housing. Let's see, can these cover everything? Well, we'll find out if that house burns down, yeah? <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be the next housing block. We have just reached 3,000 people. Ah, there we go. Halfway to our target population. That's gonna be our luxury villas. And we're keeping to the spiral design. This is just sort of, this is, this is more of a hook, but it's kind of a spiral. You can see on the, on the map in the top right here, it looks like a hook to a spiral to a big spiral. I love it, I love it. 20% uh, is the same as 25% for sentiment effect. You need to drop it to 18%. More wheat trade. So counting TLS tells me people will like me more if I drop this by 2%, which is gonna be good. Gods are all indifferent. That is a good reminder. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get like a row of temples working right here. Ceres, Neptune, Mercury, Mars, and Venus, just temporarily while we get that going, okay. All right, so that's basically phase two of this map done of the spirally desert. What is this map actually called again? It's Tarsus, it's Tarsus. Phase two of Tarsus is now done. Military is pretty much filled out. Main spiral complete. Secondary spiral is positioned and villa area is also positioned. And that's gonna be the end of phase two of Tarsus. Now we've finally developed our main spiral and we're starting to branch out into new spirals and we've also got to get those villas going. So if you'd like to continue on to phase three, just click the button on the screen right now and it'll take you on to the next video. But besides that, hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.